Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do and annotate a feasibility and then I'm going to put it in a places just so you can see how you can uh, do some of the reporting, how you can use Giraffe as a reporting tool. And I'm using my new screenshot tool that when I push something shows you the, the shortcuts. All right, so we're going to do not a very complicated feasibility, but we'll start off with some retail on the ground floor, like that. And uh, then we'll do some raising on top of it. Pop it on top. And put a little courtyard back like that, so we're getting the right depths. And then copy paste, and this will be a t uh, tower. And let's actually do it the other way. So it's going to be set back and short side to the highway. Okay. Now let's make it. Let's start to make it look good. So we will change the color to beautiful white. Let's change the color of the retail to a more muted blue. Okay. So whatever graphics you're interested in, we can we can do. I'm just going to set the boundary to the, the building footprint just so it's not distracting. And I'll turn these buildings low. And I'll turn the map labels low. I'll hit that save button so that this becomes the default layer state. Okay. So now let's say um, we wanted to show a substation. So I'm going to add a drawing layer and I'm going to call this one power. Great. Now it's active. So I'll draw a rectangle over here. And actually, why don't I show you this? So we have these area fills which come as pre styled shapes. And if I hold shift down and I, uh, and I drag, I'm going to get these things to 90 degrees. And I can do whatever I need to do. So here I'm going to make the substation like a dark green. and the line, I'm going to make the same thing, so I'm just going to copy and paste it, and I'm not going to dash it. Now we can add a label there, and that label can be substation. And if we wanted to, we could add a height, and we could make it a 3D substation. So maybe this substation is one meter, two meters tall. All right, and we can change the size of that label. We can make it big, uh, not that big, it doesn't appear. Uh, we can add, make it a round icon or, or a square one, or we can change the background color to electric yellow. We can make, put it as a picture. We could change that icon. Um, you know, I've got all sorts of carbon pie chart, whatever you want that you can do. Uh, most of the time, I just keep it as text, which may not you know, blow your mind. It may um, disappoint you that it's so plain, but clients like it. They just want the data. They very frequently just want the, the information presented clearly and easily. Um, and now I could do uh, a minor arrow, and this could be the power is going to come in like this, and then it's going to go in here, something like that. You can see I've got start and end arrows. I've got this red. I've got that green, I've got the line width. I could make this thing much bigger or smaller, depending on what I want. I can change the position of the sun. So it's in summer, so there's not many shadows. Something else I can do, so I can set that to world space, which means that if I zoom out, that word will stay small, but if I zoom in, it'll get big. And that's gonna come into, um, that's gonna come into it's going to come into it when we start actually preparing our views because what giraffe works on is is views. Uh, now I'm going to add a sustainability uh, sustainability layer, right? And I'm just going to add some icons or text. And I can put this on a stick. Or none. I can uh, I should be able to add a base height to this thing. Yeah. So I can say I put this on the actual facade um, at a given height. Or 
or I can pop it on the, I think I can four stack this thing on the roof. No, it, uh, it won't stack because it's on the wrong layer. So it's, if I move the, if I move this guy onto the, the building layer, it would stack, but it'll have to be a little bit more um, manual. So if I wanted to stack him on the roof, I could do that. Sorry, stack him on the roof, 50. Um, I know that's gonna, it's probably slightly too high. So if we just lower that guy to the roof, then he won't shift and move around as much. All right, so there from whatever, whatever angle, we're getting the right. Um, the right geo location of this label in space. Um, and we could also be doing um, this kind of thing where we may prepare um, some keys uh, and values, some, some explanatory text, like a one, two, three, four. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in a second. Um, but so we can add these labels. Now these can have uh, text like this. We can actually add pop-ups as well, which I won't show. Um, and since we're doing a green roof, I may as well put a green roof on. I'm going to activate the default layer and draw some landscape, simple. And then I'm going to click that for stack to actually stack it up on the roof. I'm just going to rotate it so it's as square as possible. And I'm going to round the corners. Sorry, <laughs> count the dwellings. By typing in corner type and normally a three meter radius looks, looks nice. Um, cool. All right. We can do a lift overrun. These kind of details, these little details that I'm doing now, maybe I'll actually add a core, right? I'll say core and um, they make everything seem so much more considered and worked out. And so that's why we do them. Okay, so we can see the green roof, we can see the tower, we can see the substation, uh, and everything's on the right uh, layer. Right, now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll do substation and the power. Um, sorry, I'll do the sustainability and the substation in different ways. So I've done a direct um, substation diagram. The label is on the map, uh, which is nice. I may add just a dimension. Maybe maybe it is important uh, for our friends in the power department to have a dimension like this. Um, they want to know these two lengths, say. So they're 24.9 and 24.1. And again, we can grab those and lower the size. Get that, get it right. And we can thicken the, the line if we need it like nice and thick and obvious. Uh, and we can add base heights to this thing as well. So if I actually wanted to pop these up, like I'll pop them up uh, 0 0.2 just so they sit on top. All right, so we've got dimensions. Now, the sustainability, I've got the one annotation that's on the map that says green roof. You just look directly at the map, but why don't we build uh, we'll add an image to the right with some uh, with a legend and some explanatory text. So uh, I'm going to uh, change the way this guy looks by making the text white and the background black and making this guy a bit bigger. And then I'm going to get rid of the border, none. And then I'm going to change the anchor of this bad boy from the bottom to the middle. All right, and now I'm going to put this in the right location. So I'm going to add some base heights, and so that's going to be number one. Now I've got to work to a view here. I, I don't have to in the sense that this thing is in space. This one has a relationship with space, so you can see it's associated with that facade there. But what can happen is if I have two things, labels like that, and I look here, they're going to overlap. So again, I would look to a view. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to save a power view, which is just the substation and these dimensions, and everything's very clear. 
So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna save a power view. Power, very, very simplistic and silly. And I'm gonna then, you'll notice I turned off sustainability. Now I'm gonna turn on sustainability, turn off power. And I'm gonna just set the view that makes the most sense. And I'm gonna set it like this. And I'm gonna add a new view and this is gonna be sustainability. Save. And you can see now that this one is better over here and it's better slightly low. And over here, uh, I'll add this uh, roof and it's not quite 45. I don't know what it is. Uh, something like that. I'll get to uh, delete that green roof. Grab that one, make it two. And I don't want to. I don't want to bore you. And it's a green roof. Uh, and let's have tower facade. Or maybe the, maybe we should the eye should read up like that. So one two three strategy one two three. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to open Figma. And I'm going to create my uh, image or my um, description. All right. So if I go to power now, good. And if I go to sustainability, good. Uh, you may want to actually tighten that a bit. So now if I go to that sustainability view, it still reads the same, but at least that too is sitting on the relevant facade. I'm going to open GI Consulting. Okay. Uh, now we can do a whole lot more, obviously, but this is, we can do leaders, we can do arrow, like, you know, like arrows, etc. Sorry, if you've got to be on the right layer, it's got to be a visible layer. So let's get that leader. And it goes this way. And you can see that label is good solar orientation. Blink, blink, uh, and we can add that end arrow, which we've got, but we can add arrow length, and arrow length, and it's three, so three is much better than whatever we were dealing with over there. Two is actually good, and let's make it like a deep burnt orange solar color. And the text color, we can make that same, so just copy paste that color across. Probably not the, the world's greatest color. And now I'm gonna add that base height. Uh, we've got that base height, so I'll say that's gonna be 25. And pop it over, over there. Cool. All right. Gonna darken that text just to, to make it more legible. All right. Uh, okay, we're in Figma on the side here. So what I'm gonna do is just zoom. Well, what I'm gonna do is add places first. My apps, places, places, uh, add. All right, and now I we set this stuff. You can change the top bar logo and color. Da, 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 da. And in the organized layout, we're gonna create a location. We're gonna choose power. Create it, create a relation for sustainability, create and choose a view, actually, yeah, uh, power, okay. And this will choose a view, sustainability, okay. And now let's go to the preview, select a precinct, sustainability, power, okay. I've, I've gone wrong. Uh, end preview, uh, organize layout. So I'm going to add a theme okay power and create and what i'm going to do is edit that guy and call him um reports delete that boy and i'm going to add another theme sustainability create i think that's better let's preview that 
Okay, and preview. Uh, I'm working this out on the fly. I'm going to add a view in Power called Power. Now I could choose an image here. Uh, create, and I'm going to add, sorry, I'm going to add sustainability there and create. Okay, so now if I look to this preview, here's Power. And here's sustainability, and I've got a picture of a delightful misty cliff. Um, uh, simple and cost effective. Okay. And now I'm going to change this. I'm going to say we've chosen a substation upgrade because. Bold, right? Save. Cool. Sustainability. Now you could go as simple as one um, ventilated, or let's say acoustically isolated podium facade to busy road. Ventilated tower facade with low glazing ratio and green roof. Much, much in the way of green. Now we could add link to report. Yeah, you put your report.com. Save that. Right, so now you've got one and two now. That's not the world's best, I don't think. We could make this bigger um, and bolder, but it's very cheap, and very clear, and very easy. Um, but if you have like a one, two, three, what I would suggest is we come to figure, Figma, and we uh, draw a you know a classic where we go. One, how about, okay, that's 12. This is a Figma tutorial, except I'm only showing you half the screen. So let me uh, get full screen to you. There you go. Um, okay, black and make the text white. Um, whatever you do, right? And then you, you do your thing. Draw a happy diagram. Put it in a frame. And export it as a PNG. Okay, and down it loads. Down it loads. Now, what we need to do to get this thing in is get it in as a URL. That's fine. I'll show you how to upload an image just in case you want to. So let's get to sustainability. Uh, I'm going to upload that image. Upload the image button. Click, click, click. Change the image. Get a new upload. Uh, in my downloads, get that frame. Open it. Uh, yeah. And sustainability. Strat. Save. You could reuse this. You know. Use, now, you see that link? I'm just going to copy it. Use this. Okay, so now we have our legend in the giraffe map. But we can also, if we just go to our sustainability carousel, we pop that in there and save. With a bit of luck, there we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we've got the, the we've, I should have said that is large. It's a bit um, not large pixelated but we also have it here one two three so we've got it three ways and uh, you can see how sort of like whether I'm working in giraffe or whether I'm working in Adobe InDesign Illustrator PowerPoint V-Ray Rhino Excel 
which I used to work in with a little bit of word for good measure. Um, much the same principles, you're linking files, you're saving them, you're using a combination of symbols and graphics and whatever. Um, but the nice thing is this is this is all linked. It's very quick, very good. Um, and if you're able to, this is not going to take you, like you can use Adobe InDesign to like lay out Vogue magazine, but you know, Giraffe is never going to be Vogue. But it's simple, it's like, uh, what are, it's utilitarian, but elegant graphics. And then you, you're in the model, as in you can change, you can start like getting good at modeling in Giraffe and making this building sing, if so you choose. Um, and that's, that's really fun um, and, and very effective. So like, uh, because Giraffe isn't inherently 3D as well, uh, you can leverage the 3D environment in, in a whole new way. Um, so if I get rid of that and I add a GLTF property, right, I have modeled a eucalypt, which I call eucalypt one, right, which is looking like that. And if I add a scale, I'm gonna make it twice as high, uh, maybe that's too big, 1.5, right? And let's make that 1.1 and rotate it a little bit. say 90 degrees, a bit more, right? That's a very acceptable presentational document. It's a very acceptable presentational document. And if you want to add data layers, it's not like you have to kill yourself. You literally type in the ones you want, fan zoning, the cadastral parcels, sales data, we can actually see what this is a site, you know, what this agglomeration of sites, 9.8 million, is that 1 point, no, so 1.95 would be the last, would be a, one of the units that was sold in here, um, and we're off, right, and if you have access to um, some GIS data, say dial before you dig, this, this information here, is far more interesting. Okay, I'm going to finish this. We're 22 minutes in. I'm going to finish this with just how crazy giraffe is. Okay, so this looks nice. This looks good. And let me just edit that property boundary so it's on a boundary. Set. And merge. And I want to merge you. Yeah, I can't, that's fine, that's, that's odd. I'll just delete these nodes by clicking on them. Okay, so that's looking better and I'll turn on default and we'll just have to clean this up. And this is how, right, we may have to adjust some of our presentational documents um, and some of our outlines and some of our assumptions, but we, can just do it all in the environment, even in a meeting. Now I'm holding that S key when I'm dragging, just so everything snaps together. That's very important to some people. Let's check our views, see if they still work. That one does, that one works well, but maybe let's drag this a bit over and let's check our power view. Okay, we should extend that. And maybe we bring it over like that, line everything up, something like this. Okay. So this acceptable presentational document, we're now going to do some calculations. All right. So I'm going to add a power section. Create it. And I'm going to say whatever this is, the length of this thing. Okay. So I'm going to add a parameter called main line. Main, create main. And it's going to be a toggle, and the default's going to be true. So whenever I add that parameter to something, and then what I'm going to do is actually, sorry, that is I can't do that because that cooks us. I have to add, I have to add main. Uh, how do I do this? I say power line, and I have to set that to one because we don't cast booleans 
as integers in analytics. So I'm going to add a dollars and it's going to be power line cost and I am going to get the length property in meters times the power line property, which is always one if it is a power line and is either zero or undefined if it's not a power line. Then I'm going to multiply that by the unit cost. I don't know, is it $5,000 per meter for a power line? I don't know. Right, and so now if I change this, that cost goes up. Okay. And so now my graphics and my reporting are integrated. Now what we haven't yet got to, but which we need to get to, is I can put some of the reporting in here, so simple and cost effective, we've chosen a substation upgrade, right? And then get out of here and link in this table. What we do allow is uh, to build some reports. My apps, builder, it's called builder. It's the most ambiguously named of all the reports, of all the apps, sorry. And I'm gonna build a blank report. Um, Fiza, okay. And I'm gonna add a view. I'm gonna add my power view and I'm gonna insert it. Don't worry about that layout yet. We'll come back to that. View, power, let's contain, insert. Okay, there. And I'm going to add analytics. And I'm going to select my power analytics and insert that. Power line cost. And I'm going to add just some text. I'm going to add my text report. Substation upgrade required. Save. And move that to the top and maybe edit this and hide heading. Okay, and let's just say, what do I call this thing? Save. Okay, so now I have a PDF report, right? And I could insert a blank page and add another view, sustainability, contain, insert, right? And I can also insert Templates, which I should have inserted the two columns. And if I had sustainability analytics, I could add those in. Or I could insert a, sorry, I could insert a, just an image, just upload my own image. Choose or upload, bang it in. And I have what is essentially the poor man's uh, Adobe InDesign. Again, it's not going to be Vogue, but it is going to be nice in the sense that it's going to have everything that you need <laughs> um, in a very sort of effective way. And you print that out to PDF by clicking that button and it downloads a, a PDF. Okay, so we're 30 minutes in. We've got views. If you're talking to the client in a meeting, you can, you can talk to them and you can show them analytics. We've got uh, the preview mode. Right, and where we're like skipping through bit by bit by bit. Now, if you have more system, like lots and lots of sustainability initiatives, if we end this preview and we come here, we can keep adding. We can keep adding carousel items, so I can add another one, right? And it's it's taken us thirty minutes, and we started with zero. We've also worked out the power, the linear, you know, the power line cost, right? It's taken us 30 minutes and, and we're, we're in it. As in if our client's talking about GFA and he wants it to be 78% and he wants to change the mix and he wants to see, you know, what's going to happen if the, the top level... Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. How very dare I. So now I've got to turn on power. Let's delete that. Okay, so I've, got to, I've always got to copy paste onto the right. But if this client wants to, you know, put a setback at the top, something like this, all of these data changes are propagating through the giraffe model, right? And it's, oh, we've got to wrap the power line around the back. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's added an extra X. We can do options uh, and we can present all of this stuff 
like incredibly cost effectively, unbelievably cost effectively. And once we're happy with this, all of these reports, these layers, these calculations, these usages, these assumptions are saved for the next project. So if I start a new project and I get the same thing over here, I can go back into the, my Berry Street project, the one we just completed, and I can just grab everything. Right, I grab the, 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 let's get this, the, the, and just add it. And I'm going to replace all my assumptions and my usages with the Berry Street one. So all of that metadata comes in, and there it is. Right? Got my substation. Look, it says power line equals one. Come here and I'm going to import from another project. Berry Street. There's my power line cost. I'm going to select it, import that measure. Right? And now I'm off. I'm off and running. And the same thing with everything that you've seen, except for views. Right? So you can see how this very, very, very quickly snowballs.